Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. I recently made a video about how you can set up your mini PC, so your Windows mini PC that is controlling all of your equipment that maybe is mounted on your scoop or on your tripod. And so I've made a video to set it up so that when Windows starts up, it automatically also starts up a Wi-Fi hotspot. This Wi-Fi hotspot doesn't have internet or anything like that, but you can use it to connect another computer or your smartphone to the Wi-Fi hotspot that is being emitted by your mini PC that can control all of the equipment. And once you're connected, you have a peer-to-peer -peer connection between your mini PC controlling all your equipment and your laptop or smartphone. And you can use remote desktop to take control of the mini PC, even though it doesn't have a screen or anything like that. And then because you've taken control of the mini PC, you can control all of the equipment. The problem is Windows makes enabling a hotspot on a PC that does not have an internet connection extremely difficult. Whereas on other operating systems like Linux, it's literally a one command line or even a couple of clicks. But Windows makes it extremely difficult. Now the method that I showed in that video, and by the way, I'll have the link to the video up above and also down in the description. It worked really well for me, no issues whatsoever, but a few of you have had issues. So this video is an addendum to make it work in other situations. Unfortunately, there are so many different ways that your computer could be set up that I cannot promise that, will, that those workarounds will work for everybody, but hopefully they should be of help anyway. The first workaround, and this is for people who have made the method work, and it works after the mini PC restarts, but it doesn't work if you shut down the mini PC and then turn it back on. So if you're having this issue, there are two potential solutions, but there is one very simple one and another one, which is more complex, but could also solve other symptoms. And that's my more general solution. So I'll have both of those in the video. Let's start with the simple one. The simple one was given to me by Mac Bennett in the comments to my initial mobile hotspot video. So thank you so much, Mike, for your advice. And basically it comes down to in recent w versions of Windows, when you turn off your computer, you're not actually turning it off. The computer is actually hibernating. And so when you turn it back on, you're not turning it back on, you are uh, you are coming out of hibernation. And so Windows doesn't see that as a startup, but we have scheduled the hotspot to start on startup, but hibernating is, but turning it off and turning it back on again is no longer startup. Oh, come on Windows, what the? I shall not say the F word on this channel. But okay, this is very easy to fix because we can simply disable the, you know, hibernate on shutdown. What this means is that once it's disabled, instead of hibernating, the computer will just like truly shut down. In theory, that should make the shutdown procedure slightly faster, but it will also make the startup of your computer slower. So there is uh, some drawback there. But the advantage is that it's a very simple man manipulation. Let's do it together. Okay, I'm connected via remote desktop to my mini PC that is mounted on top of my equipment. And so what I will do is I will uh, click the Windows icon and then in search, I will put CMD. And this will uh, show me command prompt. I will right click on that and say run as administrator. Then I will get this window. I will say yes. Then I will type uh, power CFG slash H off. And again, thanks to Mike uh, Bennett for providing this. Uh, then press enter. That's it. We're done. <laughs> so after you've done this, try to shut down your computer and restart it afterwards. And fingers crossed, the hotspot should work fine then. Okay, what about a second workaround? And I think this workaround might actually take care of both the shutdown is actually hibernation issue and a range of other issues. And this is setting up your uh, account to be auto logged in at Windows Startup. So if your account has a password, you're not auto logged in when Windows starts, right? Uh, most of the time. And if your account doesn't have a password, normally you should be auto logged in. Uh, I'm not 100% sure you can still try those steps, although in your case, it probably should not make any difference. But anyway, let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is again, click on the Windows button 
and we are going to type for reg edit. And when you see registry editor here appearing, you just click on it. It will allow again ask you to uh, whether you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You're going to say yes. And in here, we want to use the, the tree on the left, left hand side to go to HKey local machine software, Microsoft, Windows MT, current version. passwordless, and then device. And in there, when you click on device, as I have it here, you, will, you should see a parameter called device passwordless build version. The value by default in Windows 11 is 2. You want to double click on it and set it from 2 to 0, as I have here. Once done, you want to do something else. It's going to be, you can close Regedit. You can go back here, and this time we are going to type net pl with. And once you've typed net pl with, you should have this net pl with run command. So we're going to do that. And you should then see this checkbox option here. Users must enter a username and password to use this computer. It should be checked by default. Uncheck it and validate. Now, when I restart my PC or when I shut it down and turn it back on, I should auto log in. And in my experience, this can solve a lot of issues with the way that we have configured the uh, hotspot to start on Windows startup. But again, the combinations of your Windows settings might be completely different than mine. There are an infinity of different scenarios. And so I cannot guarantee everything, which is why I would strongly recommend that you perform multiple tests. Uh, one is turn off your home Wi-Fi. Make sure that your mini PC does not have access to any Wi-Fi connectivity. And after you set up the hotspot, you restart it. Make sure that after you restarted the mini PC, the hotspot is back on. Then you want to do the same thing, but you want to shut down the mini PC completely, then turn it back on. And after a couple of minutes, the hotspot should be started again. If both of those tests are okay, then we should be good. But come on, Windows. <laughs> Why? Why do you make it so complicated? And I'm not even sure whether I solved the issue for, for a lot of you. So it's, uh, it's very frustrating. So has this helped? Uh, did this fix your issue? If it did, please let me know down in the comments. Do you have other workarounds? Also, let us know down in the comments, because if people have issues, then all of you tech wizards out there, you can give us some ideas. I'm not a tech wizard by a long shot. And so we rely on your ideas, just like I relied on Mike's comments to get to this very simple workaround. So let us know down in the comment while you're going there, please like the video so we can broadcast it to more people. And you can also subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, in which case, welcome. And if you want to support me even more, and you're planning on buying anything from Amazon or Agena or High Pump Scientific or some others as well, well, do so after clicking the links that I have in the description. It doesn't cost you anything, but it truly helps the channel out. And if you want to actively support the channel, then you can join my Patreon as a member. I have a link in the description. Or you can join the channel on YouTube as a member. Every bit helps. And it's truly thanks to you that this channel is possible. So thank you so much. But more important than all of that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.